Concrete 5 is a great CMS, but we felt that the support for the multilingual sites has been weak for a long time. The newest version of Concrete 5 with the multilingual add-on offers good tools for creating multilingual content. Actually, the need for the language manager add-on came from the weak language support, and we first created this add-on for the same purpose what the multilingual add-on does. So this is the reason why the language manager also offers the multilingual functionality for older versions of Concrete 5. However, this is not the main functionality of our add-on. In addition of what the multilingual add-on offers, the language manager offers cool features to manage your site's languages. Okay, now I'm gonna show you what the language manager does. With this add-on you can manage your site's languages and automatically install new ones. Now I'm going to install a new language from Concrete5 transla translation repository. Now you can see a list of languages here that you don't already have in your currently installed languages. I'm going to install the French language now and it takes a while to install it. Now it states here that you have successfully installed a new language and you can see also that the language is here on the list of your currently installed languages. You also have some other options here but you can read more about them from our documentation. Okay. Now you can see that there is also some functionality available for the installed languages. But there is no such list in the English language because it's a default language so it doesn't have those options. Now we can go and see the view, what the view option does. Now here you can see the translations that the file has. You can also remove languages. Now we're going to remove the French language. And it's, as it states here, you have removed the language and it's no longer here on your currently installed languages list. Now if you want to update a language, you can go and press the replace option. And you can uh, upload it, you can download it from the Concrete 5 translation repository and this, these are the same options as you have had in your install a new language list. Now this, the language you are replacing is automatically selected from the list you can see here. And now I'm replacing it and it takes a while to update. And now you can see here that the language is replaced and updated to the newest version. And if you have enabled the Concrete 5 cache functionality, you should clear the cache after replacing the language. Okay, now I'm gonna show you something really cool. Let's go to the language detection tab. Here you can control how your language is detected. The first line shows you your default locale and provides a link to change it. Here you can see some general options, but we are not focusing on them now. You can read more about them from our documentation. Down here you can enable the really cool automatic language detection on site and at dashboard. The first one is for detecting which language version to use on site and the second one is to detect which language to show at the dashboard. First I'm gonna show you what the site detection functionality does. By enabling this, you see the detection criteria available. The dashed line here means that the detection will always end at default locale, meaning that all criteria under the line will be ignored. Now I press save. OK. As you can see, the default locale is the only detection criteria. You can find the currently set default locale at top of this page where you can also find a link to change that. Now I press the link and if you have the internationalization add-on installed it will be set from here. If you don't 
it will be set from the multilingual settings under the sidewide settings. Part 2 of this video will tell you a bit more about the language manager when internationalization add-on is not installed. Now when I go to the web page and press home, it sends me to the English page. When I go back to the language manager and language detection tab, we provide also other detection criteria, as you can see. Now I will show you what the browser detection does as the first detection criteria. I move it on top of the list and press save. Go to the web page, press home, and it sends me to the English page. And as you can see, in my browser settings, English is my browser language. When I change it to finish, and go back to the web page and press home, it sends me to the finish web page. You can also change the dashboard language by enabling this. When I move browser language as my first detection criteria and press save, now the dashboard language here is finished. And when I go to my browser settings and move English to my browser language, go back to the dashboard and refresh, it changes my dashboard language to English. Now I'm gonna show you one great feature of the language manager add-on. I've set up a small page here with English and Finnish languages and also added one form block to blow both of these pages. What Concrete 5 hasn't previously offered is translating block specific texts. Now you can see here in the English version of the page that in the submit button the text is in English without the language manager add-on the same text would appear although we were browsing the Finnish version of the site. When I have the language manager add-on installed and the Finnish language, the text will translate when I go to the Finnish version of the site here. Well, that's cool, isn't it? As I previously mentioned that we have four detection criteria here. And now I'm gonna show you how to use the user's IP address geolocation. Here we have a section where you can control the IP country database. If you want to import the country mappings, you can do it here. You can find the mapping file, for example, from vipmania.com. They provide this VIP base that includes wide range of country IP mappings. What I've already done is that I've downloaded the mapping file from vipmania.com, done the required changes for the file. Please see our documentation for the changes you need to do. Now I'll show you how to import the file to concrete file. I press the select file. As you can see here, I've already uploaded the file to the server, so I'm just gonna select it here. Now, now, as the file contains the whole database, I need to delete all val old values, and it's done by enabling this. And then I press import. Now I need to choose which column contains the right information. And here we need to find the IP range start, which starts in column 1, and it ends in column 2. Then we need to find the country code which is in two-letter two format and it can be found in column 5. At this point we don't need to care about the other columns. Now I press the confirm import. Now it will take a while for the system to import all the data from the CSV. Okay. Now I have imported the IP country mappings from the CSV file and as you can see here, the import was successful. If you want to enable the language detection, de detection by user's IP address, geolocation, just drag it as the first detection criteria in the list. With these options, the language would be detected 
exactly the same way as I previously showed you with the browser language detection. The only difference is that now the system would first detect the user's language by checking what is the main language used in the detected country. Thanks you all for watching and I hope the language manager add-on will be a great help for you when building multilingual sites.